So an absolutely crucial update just went live in Halo Infinite just before the launch of Season 3, and this is going to drastically change how the matchmaking experience is within Halo Infinite. But I gotta say, if you guys enjoy these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you want to stay update with everything happening with Halo Infinite with Season 3, well make sure to subscribe, so let's get right into those details. So the head of HCS, Tashi, just tweeted this out saying, based on player feedback, this morning we've deployed an update to the ranked playlist in Halo Infinite to match players based on CSR rather than hidden MMR. Continuing on, he says, we will monitor feedback and performance now and after the next ranked reset taking place when Season 3 launches to ensure the matchmaking experience is performing as expected. With even some pro players saying, I'm back. Now this is a great change but one of the more technical questions about this is how is team balancing going to work out now? Well, it turns out MMR is still involved with the matchmaking experience in some way, and Tasha provides that detail. Over on Reddit, Tasha clarifies that team balancing will still use MMR. So basically what's going to happen here is that you'll be matched against players based off of your CSR, but within that matching of those eight players within that lobby, the MMR will kick in to kind of balance out the teams a little better. But will these changes actually affect how the game plays out? Well, there's only one way to truly understand how these updates actually affect Halo. That's to jump in and experience it ourselves. So let's get right into it. You know we had to rock that optic coating for the recent win by the boys. Also right off the rip, we got our flag taken and we already got the flag captured from us. Oh geez, okay, so this is a rough start. Oh God, get the double, get the double. No! Uh, so one thing actually, we won't really know what these guys' ranks will, are going to be until the end of the match. So I guess you, or if you want to know if the matchmaking system is working now, you got to stay to the end. I mean, that's I didn't make the rules up here. And I absolutely annihilated my teammate. <laughs> Respawn next to the sniper, okay. This is also my first game of the day, so it's probably not the best idea to just jump right into ranked without actually playing Halo Infinite. Oh, you ain't got to challenge me like that, buddy. I still got it. Got another one. Oh, I double it up. Let's make some space for the boys here. I'm just stacking ammo. Snipe ammo over here. Attack our flag. Okay, where in the heck do you think we're going with that? There we go. That's some teamwork right there. Team shooting. Let's get this flag run going. Now, I will say that I'm actually a diamond tier player, so I can't imagine this being too crazy of a lobby, but yeah, I've been noticing some onyxes, but I've also seen some plats in my lobby, so some weird stuff can go down. Right now, we're a bit of a stalemate holding these flags together. They have our flag. Oh! But things are about to change. My teammate did walk in front of my shots! And they got the return. We get the cap. Let's go, boys. You'll love to see it. And we get that kill. Oh! It's going good. Oh, we got clipped up by somebody else. Okay. Well, we traded. What? Okay, well, at least we stopped them from returning the flag. They're pushing it forward. This is feeling like a pretty balanced match, not gonna lie right now. They're taking flag holes. We're playing the objective. They just got out snipes. This is kind of scary here. I'm getting double teamed. This is tragic. But that's another score. All right, go team. This is a straight up back and forth match, man. This is actually... Might be true where like actually your CSR now matters with how you match against players it seems like? Crazy concept. Having your rank actually matter, but it looks like it might actually be the case. If you guys are curious, I am playing on mouse and keyboard right here, so that might be one reason why I'm missing some shots within this match. Because I've been playing so many years of Halo on controller, but I really want to get mouse and keyboard in assist ever since that December update added in a little bit of aim assist for the mouse and keyboard, which I think is actually needed for this game in particular. I think it helps kind of get mouse and keyboard on the par with controller. You can see I'm actually kind of doing a decent job of keeping up. We shouldn't have traded right there. If anything, the guy should have walked away with the kill, but hey, I think that ultimately worked out in my favor. There we go. See, look at that a little strafing action. Keep it on target. We're doing all right for ourselves. Let's get another one there. There's snipers up right now and they have two dead. I might make a push to sneak their sniper away from them. Never mind, it didn't work out in their favor. But yeah, why would 343 decide to use MMR as a way to match P players where your CSR really didn't actually make a difference in anything? And the main reason why they did that is because your MMR is definitely much more consistent with how you're playing that day. You know, that's your highly fluctuating kind of rank where if you're using CSR, it's much more consistent. You'll be constantly matching against people at that same skill level the whole time. 
Get a kill. There we go. Ugh, we still get the shots. We got the fly cap. We still can run up and get this camo. And so it does kind of make sense in a way why you would use MMR over CSR. Now they did implement an update, I believe back in earlier of season two, where your CSR actually did play a factor of how the matchmaking worked, but it didn't really change the general experience. Most of the time you did to kind of match people that were really questionably in your lobbies, like saying like, since I'm a diamond tier player, seeing like gold players in my lobby, I'd be like, okay, that's a little, uh, Unique to say the least right there, but it also just kind of felt like your rank didn't really mean a whole lot Oh, that was a good shot. Uh, just because like it was just other things based off a hidden MMR that like your CSR was really just kind of just like a Number that didn't really mean anything kind of felt more like an average rather than like what your rank actually is But now basing your rank matchmaking off of your CSR Makes it feel like your rank actually means something and plays a factor of who you actually play against Which I think is kind of the whole point of having a ranking system in the first place, so, you know I mean. Oh, we can party that guy. Ah, oh, that should have been no scope. We know it. You know it was. We got the insist on that though. We're playing defense. We got a few more kills left to get here. Oh, we got the no scope. Ah, I couldn't get the headshot with the battle rifle, but we end up getting the dub. It looks like yes. We got that win right there. Now the big question is what rank were these players and how is the team balancing now only utilizing CSR? Well, let's check it out. So I will say after playing that match, things felt pretty even. Like I didn't really feel like there was any player that was overly better than me or underperforming than what I would expect a player to play in my skill bracket. So it did feel like things were working out rather well, but where are the numbers? You gotta show me those. Where are the details? Where it's what we're all about here, right? Well, first let's check out my team here. So the first player was a diamond one, diamond two, a diamond one, and then me, who is a diamond two and a half now after that recent lobby, as you can see right here. While the enemy team here, diamond one, a plat five, a diamond three, as well as a diamond one. So pretty much a lot of players which should be matching against, I'm actually playing against in here. So that's really great to see. But how is the team balancing lineup here? So with the MMR skill right here, the enemy team had just under our 1250 MMR, where my team here was 1247. So we actually were a little bit under their skill rank. And therefore, after going 17 and 10 that first game, I ended up gaining plus nine CSR, which makes sense and actually feels rewarding to play. Now I will be streaming more of Ranked Halo on my Twitch channel, guys. If you wanna check it out, link in the description down below. But thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.